Yeah. Yeah. We got to talk about it. We just have to talk about it. It's unavoidable. Got to talk about it. Now, before we get into it, I just want to make sure we know this dude's a human being with stuff that happens on and off the court. Real human. You never know what he's going through, that he's not sharing with the media and stuff. So hold back the the, the mean roasts and stuff like that. If it's funny, you know what I mean? It's uh, jokes. But, you know, I'm not, I'm not going to sit here and roast and do the, all the theatrics just because you just never know. Plus, I couldn't do it. I suck. The little he's doing, I can't even do that. So it's like I can't really comment too much, but what I can do is observe certain numbers. I can definitely observe certain, you know, impacts that you have on the game. Certain things are just unavoidable. I've been avoiding it. You know, I could have been said something, but I've been avoiding it. But there's certain things that just happened and transpired last night that is just changing the sphere of and the intensity of what's going on. And it has to be addressed. And I hate to be the one to say it, but I have to say it. I'm handling this delicately, you know? I'm not gonna sit here and roast and make fun of somebody, but at the same time, we're definitely gonna dive in and see what's going on. With that being said, click down below to subscribe, and these hoodies are available. Check the link in the description. Cop, you, you know what I mean? Left the clippers out on purpose, petty, but you know? Yeah, click the link to go ahead and cop one of these. <sighs> And let's get right into it. Russell Westbrook, over the last three games, nine points, six points, and eight points, okay? He shot 20% in that span. <laughs> that is a stomach-churning number. I kind of have a message, not even just to Westbrook, because the team's handling that. I guess he just needs to get into the gym, maybe get Lethal Shooter from Instagram and, you know, get you a Dr. Dish machine and just lock yourself in there until you, I don't know what the, the process is. So this is more so to the fans of Westbrook, the, the disciples. Because, you know what? First of all, this is the worst he's done since about 2010. Oh. Statistically, right? I believe so. I think he hasn't averaged under 20 points or 20 some odd points since 2010. This is the worst he's done. All right? I'm seeing comments on YouTube under the highlights. I'm, I'm reading. I just want to see what people think. They're saying usually he turns it around during this time you know he's usually bad up until this time and he turns it around which by the way imagine being known for that imagine being known for being bad for a period of, of time and then turning it around that's insane and that's not normal let's not normalize that but usually he turns it around during this time but he's still bad and it's it's mind-blowing and stuff like that that's crazy that's not normal that's not normal. I'm seeing people comment on the fact that usually he's on subpar teams to where he's not getting analyzed like that. Like on the Lakers, everything's gonna show. Everybody's analyzing you. <laughs> Everybody's looking. LeBron's on the team, so you got LeGM looking, looking and fishing on that market to see who, you know what I mean, shake it up, you know? So we're not just some bummy team. So it's like when you have a triple double, that's not the highlight of our day, you know? Other teams, Wizards and stuff like that, it's like, there's not too much else going on. So when you get a triple-double, triple-double, even if you're not winning like that, or you are winning, it's like, oh, bro, he let it. You know what I'm saying? But on our team, we got Bronny. We got LeBron. At his big age, carrying us. At his big age. He's 50. Wow. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, even if you get a triple-double, it's like, we really, I think Laker fans definitely go off impact. So that's why we loved Alex Caruso so much, even though he wasn't really scoring like that and he wasn't filling up the stat sheet. We loved him so much as Laker fans because of the impact. We go off that. You know what I'm saying? Laker fans, so you don't get to hide behind stats and you don't get to hide behind status or anything. All the Lakers, that's just a fact. Everybody's looking. You have so many eyes on you. It's a different type of franchise. Okay. You should have known before you signed the contract. Cause that's how we do. So the numbers he's putting up right now, dismal. The impact he's having on the team, detrimental, okay? And the breaking point for me personally, cause I kept on holding the faith. I'm like, okay, he's cool. He's gonna turn it back around. I don't wanna jump on him cause everybody's hating on him. I don't wanna be everybody. So I'm like, I'm gonna, you know? The breaking point is when the Sacramento Kings <laughs> start roasting you after every single shot you take. Every time Westbrook missed a shot, they would play this thing cold as ice and it'd play throughout the stadium. And then they put cold player of the game, coldest player of the game up on the Jumbotron. It was Westbrook. Oh. The Kings. Any, any single player who allows that to happen to us from the Kings, now we have to have an intervention because that's not okay. As a Laker fan, that's just not 
how we get down. I can only defend you so much. Then we have to be honest. If the kings are roasting us, what are we doing wrong here? It's you. They're roasting you, Westbrook. That's the fact. And and then this is the message to the Westbrook uh, disciples because, oh, you guys are hating. You guys are turning on him. You're going to love him when he starts producing. Here's the bottom line, and, and this is what you're going to hate to hear, is that I don't care if he starts balling out and he he's doing well and killing next week. At the end of the day, you guys need to understand that we did not sign him for 9 points, 6 points, 8 points. We signed him with the expectation that he can do what we know he's capable of doing, right? He's in a slump right now, which is long slump. But not only is he not performing, but he's like literally having a huge hand in us losing games, period. And I already know, I already know, you know, when he starts doing well again or something, he's gonna turn around and his disciples are gonna turn around and be like, see the Lakers, they were just hating, but whole time, you know what I'm saying? They just, they just couldn't wait to doubt me. No, we're looking at it. We're looking at you right now. We're looking at the stats. You can't doubt four for 14 from the field, two for 12, two for 14. There's no doubting. We're just reading the facts. It's a fact. Not everyone's out to hate you. Not everyone's out to get you, you know, disciples. We're not all out to, to fight Westbrook. At the end of the day, if he's underperforming, it's a fact. And, and the denial is strong, and I understand that. Defending your favorite players, and I, I understand that. But at some point, responsibility has to be taken by the player, which he has done, by the way. So by you guys not doing it, his fans, you're opposing your Lord. You know, Lord Westbrook for y'all, because he even took it responsibility, you know? So he's doing bad he's down bad he knows this and we know it because we're watching it not just stats wise but impact wise right i don't want to hear a you guys were just hating on him you couldn't wait to see him fall he just fell nobody pushed him he fell he tripped and fell he never had his shoes tied whole time we're finding out and he fell that's just on him take it to the chin if he starts performing well next week i don't want to hear the uh you doubted him i told you so he just needed time this is not normal, Westbrook fans. For you guys, that's normal. No other player in the league has a nickname related to him being bad for a period of time and then all of a sudden blossoming and doing well. That's not normal. So I don't want to hear anybody, we told you so, that I don't want to hear it. He is bombing right now. He is bombing like a Tuskegee Airman. He's bombing right now. That's it. That's the facts. Until he does better. And when he does better, there's no bragging. You need to be thankful that you can get packed up and shipped up out of here already. You feel me? Once you start performing, that's what you should be doing. Hey, no, we're not going to thank you for that. This is a different franchise. Lakers don't do that, you know? Wizards might do that. You know what I'm saying? Other teams might do that. Oh my Lakers, we're not going to praise you and thank you for doing what you're supposed to do. <laughs> Come on. We signed you billions on millions of dollars to do what you do you're not doing what you do so once you start doing what you do again it's not going to be any praise i promise you we're not going to fall on our knees and uh uh worship no that's what you're supposed to do i'm gonna act like it's a regularly scheduled event and i know the haters of the westbrook disciples are gonna be see the lakers just don't want to give him credit no he's supposed to be doing that what is wrong what's what's and this is why I'm starting to think it was a mistake because I was happy to get him, man. I, I was trying to just be faithful. I know some of y'all are trying to tell me you told me so because y'all hated Westbrook from the start. You got me. <laughs> you got me. <laughs> you you might have been right, but I was just trying to hold out hope. Hasn't worked out. I still am holding out a little hope. You know, I don't want him to fail. He's from LA. I don't want him to fail. I'm not rooting on his downfall. However, this isn't normal behavior. I just want him, uh, he knows that. I want the disciples to know that. So when he goes back to normal behavior, you have nothing to brag about. You have nothing to celebrate. I don't want to hear a word, period. And that's it. Dropped the mic, is done. I don't want to hear it at all, period. So stop. All right? That's basically all I came on here to say. Talk to the disciples. Because Westbrook seemed like he knows what he needs to do. He seems like he's taking some responsibility at first he didn't seem like he was taking responsibility and he was talking about everybody misses shots and turns the ball over like he just didn't really care and the flippant you know responses were a little concerning a little weird but i just let it slide because i'm like maybe he's just you know a little pissed at himself let me let me let him let him do it you know what i mean but 
I think now he kind of understands, like, I'm stinking up the joint, you know? And 58-year-old LeBron is, is carrying me up this mountain. He has, you know, this celebration you do, LeBron has you in his arms, and he's trying to carry you to the finish line, and you're, like, fighting. To, to not be carried and, and it's not working. So I think he understands that now and that's why his comments have been just super like, uh, I'm gonna take responsibility and accountability. So I'm gonna let him do him. I'm gonna let him do his thing and let him get in the gym and work on whatever he needs to work on. And we should hope that he does better because we're the Lakers, he's on the Lakers. So we should definitely, we're working towards a common goal here. I'm definitely not the enemy. I want this dude to succeed, especially LA native gotta gotta root for him at the same time it's okay to acknowledge that this is not normal this is not what should be happening and we're not in the wrong for expecting more out of this player that's it like and subscribe you see how quick that was you see how easy that was comment down below what you guys think i would love to see it follow me on my social medias all right i'm literally done okay you know this is for sale like i said at the beginning so check that out link in the description and uh talk to you later <laughs>